Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're going to calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Malik Arnold claims his ex-girlfriend fell out of love with him and his DJ equipment, which she sold when he moved out. Soraya Black says he never came back for it, so she got rid of it. Ms. Black is countersuing for $400. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. Please be seated. You are, Your Honor. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. This is the case of Arnold versus Black. Mr. Arnold, you are suing Ms. Black for $800 yes, for DJ equipment you say she sold. Yes, ma'am. Uh, defendant, you say he never picked the equipment up. Yes, ma'am. And you're countersuing for $400 to damage to your furniture. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's start with you, Mr. Arnold. Please tell the court about this DJ equipment. Well, Your Honor, to start, it was worth $800, and we had an agreement that I would leave it at her house while I was asked to move out our home because she fell out of love with me. So with that being said, the reason why I am suing for my DJ equipment because she went against our agreement that we had because I used that DJ equipment as a side hustle to make extra money for myself and for my kids. But the agreement was until you got your new place. Your Honor, with that, with that being stated, I end up did get in my own place, but within the time being of that I did get it, I had to spend the month at my mom's house because I was back and forth in jobs and everything. And I spent the next month looking for a place, but I didn't solidify a place to the third month. So within the three months that I did find my place, I did take a little extra time to get my place, but I am was still playing to pick your up my DJ. My so you're in a relationship. You think everything's going well. How yes, long had you been together before you broke up? We've been together for seven years before we break oh, up. Oh, seven years. That's, That's a, a long time. It's a, it's a minute. So, Ms. Black, you fell out of love with Mr. Arnold. After seven years, you had to be honest with him. Yes, what happened? So basically, within the last year of us breaking up, we are just arguing every day about, like, small things, like housework, um, taking care of the kids. He also has another child outside of the relationship and he puts in more money into that child. But our kids, it's like I have to step up to the plate just to take care of our own kids. Two How many like do that. you have? Two. two and ages? And uh, they're two and three. Okay. So you come to him and honestly say, I just don't feel like I'm in love with you anymore. Take me back to that day. Yeah, so basically, with that conversation, I just told him, like, we're arguing constantly every single day about li literally just small things, the smallest things. You all broke up after seven years and didn't have any conversations? That's where the fraudulence occurs because I've presented multiple times before we had our kids. It was a different situation. Of course, I didn't have other res I had just the one responsibility that was different. Now that I have two other kids in the mix, it's hard for me to but give. It, it takes two to plan. It, it takes two to have kids. It takes two so to have kids, to but it also it's... takes two to have a conversation and for two to listen. You felt like Ms. Black wasn't listening and wasn't communicating with you? I feel like that she just made everything about her and then look at the other things around it of the other things that I am doing to make sure my family runs well along with the little child support I have coming out my check from my other child. So, Ms. Black, you felt neglected with all of these other things. Yes, I'm still young. I see my, my friends and other, just other people around at my same age, and they're literally traveling, just exploring the world with men that can provide for them and but take care of kids? them. And some of them do. First of all, I'm still seven years in this relationship, no, no ring. So... You well, think I'm still going to be just a boyfriend? Well, well. Okay, so you're seven years in a relationship, no ring, but two kids. Why have two kids if, if, you, if the relationship was contingent on a ring? I mean, right. I'm not saying it's contingent on a ring. I'm just saying, like, for me to continue being, we, I'm, we're right now co-parenting. Now, have you ever heard the phrase, comparison is the thief of joy? 
Yes. I heard you say you were comparing your life, comparing your relationship to other people. Mm -hmm. And who and, 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 I, and I could just see what you were describing. Their man is taking him here and there, and you're probably looking at all this social media nonsense. Yeah. It is absolutely ridiculous. But granted, a lot of the friends that she does have, I don't know if all of them has kids, but when you have kids, things change. And I have been openly communicating with her about that too. And so when she said, I've fallen out of love, I really want you to leave, you just said, okay? At the time, yes. And why is that? Only because I just picked up my trucking career. I was on the road a lot, so I didn't really have time to come back and digest digest the things that was going on. And to so more you extensive. quickly just had to move your things out. Yes, my things was so, packed by the door by the time I got back from my trip. We we gave oh. him I gave him a week to just, you know, just making sure just like maybe the feelings are just for now that maybe I'll just feel no, all let's, of let's, him. Let's rewind and then, that. I gave you a week because you told me you fell in love with me. I okay. didn't need a week. I know who I love. I know who I want. Coming up. What made you just give it away? If this is something that he uses, equipment he uses as a side hustle. Well, let's clarify. To make, she I'm talking, Mr. Arnold. All right. We're back with a dispute between Malik Arnold and his ex, Soraya Black, over DJ equipment and property damage. So your point is you do love her. I do love this woman. And that's who you want to be with? Yes, ma'am. You're willing to accept the fact if she doesn't want to be with you, you'll just walk away? Honestly, because it's not worth my stress and my time. You want to so, walk away, so if, bye. If it's, if it's not worth your stress, then how do you want to be with me if it's not worth your stress? Because Obviously, you, can't, you can't be with somebody who, who, who wants to argue every little time about things that I came to you about repeatedly. We asked repeated questions. Hey, what can I do? What's going on? What's wrong? And then, I, I told you. I told you things and that I... And what have I done to work on it? Let's put that out there. Nothing. Okay. Sure. You haven't done anything. They haven't, my kids ain't starving. They got I mean, a house on okay, over okay, their head. The kids, of course the kids will be taken care of. I'm talking mm -hmm. about me and you. It's kids and us together... We make up a whole relationship. What we is make up exactly, a whole family. if he's taking care of his children, Ms. Black, what is your issue exactly? In a, in a woman's mind, we move on faster. Just even if we're still in a relationship, we move on mentally, like months before we actually physically separate from the man. So you so, had moved on? Yeah. All right. And so he left the home the dj equipment was still there where is the dj equipment where was it the G dj equipment was um on the patio all patio right furniture and, and it's it was there what for five sitting months. on tables where was mm -hmm. it it was sitting on the table it was there just for five months he's i told him he's but our contract he was going to get his equipment five months after he left oh uh, yes where five was months. it when he lived with you where where was the dj equipment kept when you on all lived together on the patio no, no, the same spot no, no, no. And when he lived in the house, yes. it was just in his in our room, set up. Just in the, well, in the studio room. Okay, so just. in a room set up. Yeah. But then when he got ready to move, he put this DJ equipment on the patio. Because I packed all his stuff, and then the, I guess I just put that on the patio. So you put it on the patio? Yes. No, ma'am, no. When oh, you moved the stuff? No. What ha this is what happened. My DJ equipment is a little, has a little weight to it. So what happened was, after we had this little argument or whatever, I, I packed up my stuff and put it, I put my DJ equipment on the patio. Now what happened after that, I don't know. But All right. I, I took my stuff out the room and I just put it on the patio and then I went on my trucking route and then I came back, the rest of my stuff was by the door. But I did put the DJ equipment on the patio. Well, I was just about to say, you had just worked yourself she had just worked you out of the potential countersuit because if she put the DJ equipment on the patio in where it was, mm -hmm. you couldn't possibly owe her any money for furniture damage because she put it there. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But you just testify no, I put that it, you I put, put it, it on there. the patio. So but... now the countersuit is still alive. Okay. And it's so, still, it's still there. So, but I just so, want to so say, back to leaving the DJ equipment. You left. Now, you get to a place where he hasn't come pick it up. What type of notice are you? Are you telling him, come get this, I'm going to give it away? What, what's happening? I'm calling him, texting him just months, like almost every single day. Um, anytime I text him, he just you either have deflects. evidence of those text messages? Yes, ma'am. Let me see them, please. 
And what are you saying at that time? Um, basically, I'm just telling him, hey, whenever, just sending him reminders, hey, are you going to come pick up your stuff? And then he would just say, yeah, I'll get it soon, and I'll come again. And he'll be like, he tried to invite me out to lunch. I'm like, okay, lunch? Why? Like, why why did I invite you to lunch if you want to talk about lunch? It's, it's, you it assume, for... see, Your Honor, this is one of the reasons why I don't care if she walks on my life, because she likes to make a lot of things about her. I asked her in those text messages, hey, do you want to come to lunch to talk about Malik's birthday? party meaning in that time I was prepared to come and get my DJ when I had the time and the space but you didn't show up though I I, I apologize I, I, I so I, you're so admitting you didn't show up when you said I see the text I messages didn't show up. she's saying hey come get it you call her love she says don't call me love I know I haven't gotten the DJ equipment just remember we'd agreed you pick it up when you got your place and I got my first and I need it out by our son's birthday are you going to come get your stuff? She's asking you again, on and on and on and on. And at that time, I'm on the road a lot. So the time that I didn't respond, I do apologize. I have no clue what I was doing. But you have time to see your kids and My take kids care of your kids. My kids are more important than But you don't have time Hold to... on. So you've been to the house to come see the kids. Yes, ma'am. You just would never get the trucking, the, the, the DJ equipment. No. But you were working as a truck driver. Yes. And then you got, how long ago did you get your place? About three months after. Three months about three after months. you broke up. After we was, it was And so, done, but... after you broke up, it took you three months to get your, 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 your place. Yes, ma'am. At that time, the DJ equipment was there. It still How long there. after you got your place, after you got the place, did you find out that she gave it away? When I got there for my son's party. All right, so how long after you getting your place it's was your son's party? About five, uh, two months later. So two that. months later. Yeah. Give or take. So 60 days mm -hmm. after he got his place. Mm -hmm. What made you just give it away? If this is something that he uses, equipment he uses as a side hustle. Well, let's clarify. To make, she I'm talking, Mr. Arnold. All right. Coming up. How did the DJ equipment prevent you from moving on? That's his stuff. That's that so brings it's back memories. That ah. patio, that patio, I use that, that place as a safe space. That patio brings back a lot of memories, so. too. We're back with a dispute between Malik Arnold and his ex, Soraya Black, over DJ equipment and property damage. Boy, when y'all come to court, y'all got to listen more than you speak. You don't understand. I'm trying to set up to make, make her have to explain why she would give away DJ equipment that helped you make your kids more money. It doesn't make sense. Why would you just give that away? The five months that he, the DJ equipment has been sitting there, Literally, he's never used it. So how What's was that making money do? for DJ on your back porch? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take that DJ equipment to use for his shows, his shows. But, but how can he do shows and get that set up when he's trying to be in transition? Because out of the blue, you told him he needs to get out. A man that's been ousted from his home does need time to get himself together and I gave him that time I so, it's two, so that 60 days of the DJ equipment was just too much you can't tell me one day out of those 60 days you couldn't come like I said you already come to see your kids it's not the point that he could come because he could have gotten the DJ equipment yes in the last five months what I'm saying to you is how, why was that bothering you so much? Because I'm trying to move on. And I'm so literally, how did the DJ equipment prevent you from moving on? That's his stuff. That's, that so brings back memories. That oh. patio, that patio, I use that, that place as a safe space. That patio brings back a lot of memories, too. So every time you go out there and his DJ equipment was there, you're trying to move on with your life, but his DJ it's, equipment was constantly re reminding you of him. Yes, ma'am. Coming up. How much you sell it for? For 500. I needed the money for our son's birthday party because in the text messages I asked him that our son's birthday party will cost $600. And all he said is just to provide it's pizza. Three. What you need 600 for a three-year-old for? He's three. <laughs> And getting some uh, pizza and some ice cream. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's stay on track here. We're back with a dispute between Malik Arnold and his ex, Soraya Black, over DJ equipment and property damage. And why is it then you couldn't have it maybe put in a box and move to the garage and get it out of the patio? I found out that my patio furniture was broken anyway from the DJ equipment. Do you have a picture of the broken patio furniture? Um, I don't have the picture of the broken patio. Do you have a receipt of what you paid for the patio furniture? Yes, I have a receipt and it's in there as well. I paid $400 and I told him that um, I sold his DJ How? equipment uh -huh. because it you broke. You sold it or you gave it away? That's I sold it. My DJ equipment was worth <laughs> How much yeah, you sell it for? For 500 And look how much it's worth. 
I needed the money for our son's birthday party because in the text messages I asked him that our son's birthday party will cost six hundred dollars, and all he said is just to provide He's pizza. Three. What you need six hundred for a three-year-old for? He's three. <laughs> And, Get him some uh, pizza and some ice cream. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's stay on track here because uh, now uh, I see you didn't just throw it away or give it away. You sold it. Yes, ma'am. You sold it because you say you needed money for a three-year-old's birthday party that pays $600. Yes, ma'am. So your logic as a mother of two kids under the age of five was, let me take this equipment that my ex, the father of my children, uses to make extra money for my children. Let me sell it for $500 mm -hmm. when it's worth $800 mm -hmm. and it could potentially all earn us even more than $500 down the road. But the thing is, I told him that I sold the equipment and all he said was that it's okay, we'll talk about it later. He was not upset at all. So you weren't upset about the DJ equipment being sold? Not physically in the face. Mentally, what? Uh, yeah, I said it, not physically in the face. This is the most illogical story ever. Judge Lake's verdict when we the people returns. Mr. Arnold, you had DJ equipment worth $800. Yes, ma'am. Sold it for $500. Yes, ma'am. You can't get it back. Did you pawn it? Did you sell it? I sold it. Okay, so we can't get it back. Let's go. The furniture is worth $400. It's broken and you can't use it anymore. Mm -hmm. You have to throw the furniture out. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to split the difference here. There's $800 of damage to you, $400 damage to her, judgment for the plaintiff for $400. But I need to say this before court is adjourned. This was an unnecessary issue. You all have two kids together. You should be able to have this conversation between each other and resolve these issues. There are going to be so many more issues that are huger than this that you're going to have to resolve as parents. You have to learn how to communicate. This was, I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's, it's. Judgment for the plaintiff for $400. And if you have something else to say, what you really need to do is direct whatever else you need to say to your co-parent and the woman you say you love, Ms. Black. I'm trying to. Would you like to? I'm uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, as after I say court is adjourned, you do that. Court is adjourned. All right. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $400. Speak your piece. I just need to know one thing. Do you love me? No. No? Why? Because this is what I was going to do. I was going to ask you to marry me, but... Why are you so extra? I'm Come not on. being extra. It's just that... I guess. Follow me out.